Hi, this is Dave, fellow running guide. Welcome to this week's map reading task. We're in the Lake District this week. I've identified three features on the photograph and I want you to identify those on the map. And can you also work out where precisely the photo was taken from? The map this week is the Ordnance Survey 1 to 50,000. So those features are on there somewhere, as is the photo location. So let's have a look at that photo. What can we see? What are the obvious features? Well, we are directly above um, quite a steep drop that goes down into a wide U-shaped valley, uh, steeply up the other side. In the valley bottom, there's a stream that's draining down to this body of water. Um, just at the right hand end of the body of water, at the bottom of this spur or ridge going down, there's a wooded area. And then a little, maybe a little island there. And then on the other side, there's a definite Y shaped drainage feature. And if we were to follow up the right hand side one as we look, it leads to the feature that we're looking for. We've got a rounded hill, a second rounded hill, a third rounded hill. And our second feature is towards us off that third hill, quite a deeply incised drainage line there. If we go to the right of that third hill and down, we've got another wide valley draining down towards the camera and then hidden behind this ridge line here um, and then this ridge itself we are looking down onto it onto it we're higher than it but it's dropping away as we go away from the camera drops away a bit of a steeper drop there a flattening which is the feature we're looking for and then down 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 the spur down to that woodland so can we see any of that on the map well the only real y-shaped uh, sorry u-shaped valley that we can see is this Rigendale beck and here's the the main body of water so we've got to be somewhere up rampgill rampsgill head kidsty pike or on this ridge here looking across Rigendale beck and onto this spur or ridge here down to the water there look is a little finger sticking out a wooded finger and a little island so that makes sense let's have a look um side by side photo and map together and see if we can uh, identify some things okay so stream draining into the reservoir a little island and there's a stream into the reservoir little island the rig this wooded finger sticking out is that there here is our y-shaped stream there so that junction there is that junction and then if we were to follow the right hand end remember we're looking from up here if i have to remove this photograph and this map further up than kidsty house so up here somewhere um but if we were to go up that right hand stream and then kink round between these two hills, then there's the right hand stream kinked round and up between the two hills. So Selside Pike there is that. And then this summit there or rounded summit is this say, 673. And the stream in between is that feature that we want. So that there is that there and then if we were to continue along from the 673 the third hill goes along this 713 height that there is on here so back towards the camera and a drainage line there it's got to be this obviously incised one coming down there so those are those three if we then go to the right as we're looking on the photograph to the right of this 713 height we get to this big wide drainage 
feature coming down. So to the right of this, if we're looking from up here somewhere, is this. So this here, Gatescarth Pass, is that there. So that's that. What about this feature here on the ridge? Right, we'll have a look at that in a little bit more detail. So if we see the ridge goes along, and then at this point here, it drops off. There's a bit of a steepening there, drops off and then flattens. And look how it's directly in line with this feature here that we've already identified as Gates Garth Pass. So can we see that on the map? So now back to the map, looking along the long ridge, drops down fairly steeply, a little flattening there, but then goes up again to the six to eight height, then a long little slight rise towards the end of that, and then a steep drop, and then a flattening there for a couple of hundred metres um, before it drops away again. So what we're looking for is the steep drop and then the flattening. So that there is this here. So those are the three features. What about the exact place where the photo was taken from? Well, on the photo, we are looking directly down steep ground. So straight away, straight in front of me to the right, the ground drops away steeply. Um, so if we look at the map, Rampskill Head, there's a high point, but then a flattening before it drops away steeply. So we can't be on there because we'd have slightly flatter ground to the right. However, on Kidsty Pike, just there, the ground to the right drops away immediately. So that's that. And then the other thing to think about is that that feature there on the ridge that we've identified is directly in line with Gatesgarth Pass. So if we put some uh, arrows on the map, we can look at that. So if we were there on Kidsty Pike, looking across this feature that we've identified straight across, we are looking straight up that Gatescarth. So your yeah, answers were the junction there, looked up and identified there, that point, and then in front of this 713 height to identify that point, and then the feature there that we've already looked at. So those were our answers this week. I know quite a few of you got it right on social media. Some weren't quite correct on the uh, photo location and on the ridge in the middle distance, but I hope you learned something from it and enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Look out for next week's navigation task. Bye for now.